Avantex is a water treatment company. We deploy water treatment technologies and develop technologies to solve specific customer problems. We not only do the engineering side of things, but we also do the manufacturing, testing, startup, and if a client would want, we can provide the operations as well. We've been around the industry, in the nuclear industry, for about 25 years. And so we got called within a couple days of Fukushima occurring. The first thing we did was uh, our lead process engineer, Tracy, got on an airplane and went to Japan to find out really what was going on. After the Fukushima accident on March 11th, Avantech was called in. I didn't realize the enormity of the problem that they had there. The amount of radioactivity is unbelievable. There was an issue they had with high radioactivity in the water. Basically, all of the radioactivity associated with the core of three melted reactors. The core actually melted in those reactors. And so I went in and investigated that. I assessed the problem, and then we started developing solutions. And basically from that, we pulled together a plan of how we might be able to treat the water at Fukushima. David Langan worked as the project manager. My initial reaction was, this is something that really needs to be done right now, or they're gonna be spilling radioactive water into the ocean. This really is an emergency. Three Mile Island, you know, it was a, a, a major accident. We melted the core, but it was contained. We had time to sit back and figure out the correct answers and how to do this. That wasn't the case with Fukushima. Our design team performed uh, above and beyond. Raj Breedy was instrumental in developing the pressure vessel and the shielding and the lifting attachments that went along with the system. Yeah, this was a pretty unique challenge for us trying to figure this out in such a short span of time. So the main core of the whole design was the shielded ion exchange module. The shielded ion exchange module is actually a pressure vessel inside a shielded container. And if you put in too much radionic lights in there, then the heat generating was actually melting the lead. So we had to design a way where we could ventilate this whole system as well as maintain shieldings. A normal design like this would have taken long, several months, but we actually did this in two weeks. Our electrical engineers are special because not only they design the electrical engineering equipment, but they have the ability to program it as well. We try to make our screens resemble as close as possible the process. It is run from a touch screen. What you see is what you've got in the process. Operators can adapt to this very quickly. It's intuitive to them, very easy for them to understand. It's a very difficult working situation over there. Uh, you're in full suits in a fairly hostile environment. Just walking out of the building where our process was, and there 200 feet away was reactor number four with the, uh, with the top blown off of it. If that water would have gotten into the ocean, that would have been a major impact on the whole world. And we take a lot of pride in the fact that we were able to deliver that product to Japan to avert the emergency that they would have had over there. Yeah, we, we worked through July 4th weekend. All the welders were here. Jerry and I were here. Uh, I had family in town, you know, but I was here. Well, I, I was on day shift, but I, I never seen my house in the daylight. We worked whatever hours was available. If there's 24 hours in a day, <laughs> we work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They all started with teamwork. That's one of the huge things we have is teamwork. Everybody, everybody pulls together, pulls a load, from the office people, to the electricians, to the carpenters, to the welders, I mean fitters, everybody just come together and get it done. Whatever it takes to get it done, that's our job, get it done. We all knew what the big picture was, helping Japan, helping the world. We were able to pull this together as a team and make this work because we were able to get the things we needed in a very timely manner. I think we bought, probably when it was all said and done, about 6,000 linear feet of tubing uh, and just cases and cases of fittings to be able to route the radioactive water. If we don't have a part, you can't do anything. Our schedule requirements are very tight and our vendors came through for us. You know, But we were going to meet our goal of getting that equipment to them on schedule, which we did. The Swage Lock folks, and we actually had a couple other vendors that did it exactly that. You call them up on the 4th of July. You know, most people are out grilling or partying or doing their thing, and you say, we need these parts, and we got them, so. We worked around the clock 24-7 with different shifts of people, doing different things at the same time and coordinating all those activities. Within eight weeks, we put out 14 pressure vessels, several stamping stations, 
We put out scaffolding for the piping system and etc. And on the 4th of July, we loaded it on a plane and shipped it over to Japan. And, and truly, that, that we're one of the few people in the business that could do that. I don't know, it's hard to put into words, you know? I mean, it, I'm just a welder. And, you know, it, putting all that pipe together, I guess once you see the big picture at the end, you realize, hey, I, I played a part in, in helping out this world to make it a better place, to, to clean it up a little bit. I'm just glad I was here with this company to do it. Yeah, I mean, you go through life and uh, uh, you get certain points in your life where you really believe that you were meant to do something. And it was real clear that Avantech was created to help solve problems like this. I felt that I, it was my duty to go in and try to help them with this problem, to clean this up, and it was very emotional. I put my whole career into this. That we were able to pull this together as a team and make this work and actually uh, clean up the water very, very quickly. We designed something in a short period of time, delivered it. It has worked better than what our client could have ever thought it would have worked. I don't think anybody else really in the world could have done that because we had 100% of the capability here. We just figured that as a company, I mean, if we sat down to do anything, I mean, we could definitely do it. You're helping a lot of people out and uh, that were in need and distress. It's a good feeling when you get to do stuff like that. This is really the first time that I felt like I was that I could put, use my trade to do something good for the planet. Especially when you know that there's, there's people that were in trouble like the Japanese were. And, and for us to, to be able to help somebody out like that, man, that's, that was awesome. That, that, was, that was a great feeling.